other will be left. Let's see if we can explain that. Matthew chapter 24, here it is. It's again talking about the flood in the days of Noah. Now, how many were in the days of Noah? Two classes, the saved and the lost. Were there any other people beside that in the days of Noah? Was there some middle class in the days of Noah? Were there undecided people in the days of Noah? No, the gospel had been preached in the days of Noah, and everybody could make their final, full, irrevocable decision. So Jesus says in the last days, Matthew chapter 24, verse 12, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to what? To what? To all nations. Then shall the end come. Revelation 14, verse 6 and 7 says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached again to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. The Bible says, I saw another angel fly in the middle of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to the whole world. So, Christ's message will go to the whole world. Nobody will be left in darkness. Nobody will be able to say, oh, I didn't have opportunity, therefore I couldn't decide. If you're lost, you're not lost because you didn't know. You are lost because you knew and didn't do. People will not be lost because they didn't have an opportunity to be saved. They'll be lost because they had that opportunity and they turned their back on it. The Bible says... Be like the days of Noah. In Noah's day, everybody had the opportunity. Get into the ark. God is saying to you today, get into the ark. God is saying to you today, get ready for salvation. God is inviting you today to open your heart to him. Now notice, what about this taken and left business? You may be surprised at this one. It says, as in the days of Noah, before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came in, took them all away, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. Who were the people taken away? The ones taken away, according to this passage, were the ones that were destroyed in the flood. The Bible says they did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So the ones that were taken away were the ones swept away, the ones taken away by the water and destroyed in the flood. The popular theory of the rapture says that the people that are left behind are the lost and the ones taken away are snatched or taken away by Christ and are saved in the rapture. But my Bible says that the people in this passage, the flood took them all away and they were taken to destruction. Quite different than what man writes in books like this Left Behind series today, quite a bit of difference there, friend. There's an amazing amount of difference between what the Bible teaches and what man teaches. Notice it says, verse 40, Then two men will be in the field, one taken, the other left. Two women grinding at the mill, one taken, the other left. When the flood came, they were taken away to destruction. The ones that are taken away are taken away to destruction. The ones that are left remain to see Jesus come. And as he comes, the graves are open. Their bodies are changed. The living righteous are transformed. And together, Transformed. They are left. They're not destroyed by the flood. They're alive to meet Jesus when he comes. It says, watch therefore, for you don't know what hour your Lord's coming. Somebody says, Pastor, do you mean there are only two classes, the saved and the lost? Do you mean that the ones that are taken are taken away by the flood and they're destroyed? You mean there is no secret rapture? There is no secret rapture, friend. Do you mean after Christ comes to take away his church? or that his church ascends in heaven after he comes to receive his church? You mean that the wicked are destroyed? Exactly. Exactly. Look at it. What, how the Bible explains this parable in Luke, the 17th chapter. Here you have it, Luke chapter 17. But you see, the Bible explains very clearly the meaning of this whole parable. You find it in Luke chapter 17, verse 24. It says, for as lightning that flashes out of one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so